Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you for all of your likes, your shares, your comments, and just all of your support. If you are interested in receiving additional guidance aside from the weekly or monthly tarot forecast that I offer on my channel, please head over to either Facebook or Instagram and follow me there because I do actually draw and upload a daily oracle guidance card every single day. And if you are interested in receiving a private reading from me, please head over to northeasttarot.com. I do have it linked below in the description bar and read about how I offer my private readings. I do still have available the 2017 yearly readings. So if you are interested in that, please head over there. I will be offering them for a limited time only. And also, uh, please watch your sun, moon, and rising sign uh, for these general tarot forecasts. These are just general forecasts, uh, and I do recommend that you watch all three. If you do not know what your rising or moon sign are, I do have linked below in the description bar a website that can calculate that for you for free. So again, I just want to thank you guys for all of your support. I, I do wish you a wonderful week. Stay tuned for the reading. Hi Libra, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of January 16th through the 22nd. This is for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising signs. Libra. So at the bottom of the deck, I do have the King of Cups. Okay. So the King of Cups can be, for some of you, I do feel like this is a character. So this can be a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces individual that's very significant this week. Uh, for other Librans, this can, of course, be your energy. You could be very focused on relationships, very focused on matters of the heart or love this week uh for some of you you could be very generous very loving very caring very compassionate highly highly intuitive for some librans you certainly might have some water in your chart um and then for others you could actually be dealing with a water sign individual this week now you do have a very interesting spread libra a very powerful spread uh you have quite a few majors here let's see we have one two, three, four. So we have four major arcanas here in this spread, and they're actually some, some very powerful energies. Uh, the overall energy is the, the Eight of Wands. So the overall energy for the week, Libra, is the Eight of Wands. So for some of you, this is things happening very quickly. It can be things improving. The energy is now looking up. Things are moving forward. If something's been slow moving, or if the energy has been stagnant for you, Libra, this can be now things starting to really move forward, things starting to happen very quickly with the Eight of Wands. This is that very hasty energy. And then for other Librans, this can represent communication. So for some of you, and this illustration really portrays this, this uh, really wonderfully. You can see this man, how he's quite surprised. He's quite shocked because this bird is coming coming in and delivering this, this letter to him. So it's unexpected communication. And it's very positive positive but it's just a little surprising so for some of you I feel like there could be some news or there could be some communication that's coming in very suddenly uh, this week for some of you also with the eight of wands there could be a lot of communication there could be a lot of communication going back and forth and maybe it's with a Scorpio cancer or Pisces individual now we do have the Empress which can definitely be those Libran women out there. This definitely could be your energy. Uh, people around you finding you very, very attractive. Uh, the Empress is a beautiful woman. Um, she does represent abundance uh, and also fertility. So for some Librans, no matter if you're male or female, this could be you actually maybe receiving communication in regards to a new beginning. This could be you giving birth to something new. Uh, for for some Librans, if you're not dealing with a water sign person, you could be dealing with maybe a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries because I do have the Queen of Wands here. Now, for some of you, this can be your mother uh, because the Empress can represent that mother figure. So for some of you, this is your mother 
or this is maybe a motherly type figure in your life. They can be maybe a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. This could be a person that you're communicating with. And then for others, this could definitely be, because I have two threes here, um, you have the Empress, and then you also have uh, the Three of Swords here, Libra. Because you have two threes here, and then I also do have the lover's card here, which, you know, oftentimes the lover's card will come up when there is a situation involving three people. There are three people here on the card. So uh, for some Librans, you might be dealing with a situation involving three people. This can be a love triangle, but it doesn't have to be. This could be something business related. This could be something uh, going on within the family. So uh, there could be a fire sign or that's very significant this week, Libra, that you're dealing with. And also, you could be dealing with a water sign person as well, uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Now, with the Three of Swords, for some of you, this is you finding something out. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, for some of you, for a very small number of you, this could be you finding something out with this Ace of Swords. This is some sort of clarity that's coming to you. Uh, this is you speaking your truth or you hearing the truth. For some of you, you're cutting to the truth of the matter. Uh, you're seeing things clearly, and it could be in regards to maybe a third person. It could be in regards to maybe this fire sign individual for those very, very small number of Librans that are dealing with a love triangle or dealing with some sort of cheating, uh, the Queen of Wands sometimes, sometimes can represent uh, the other woman, especially when she's sitting next to the Empress. So there could be some Librans that you could be finding something out. Uh, definitely here, you could be finding out about a love triangle uh, or some sort of cheating uh, situation. Now, for other Librans, this Three of Swords, um, it's not always heartache. It's not always pain. This could be mental frustration. And for some of you, you really feeling torn. You could be a Libra that is stuck in a situation uh, involving three people, whether that is love or, or, or business or family. This could be a situation dealing with three people. This could be a situation where you feel torn with the Three of Swords. You don't know what to do. If you're a Libra that's relating to these energies in that way, you will um, figure things out with the Ace of Swords. Uh, this is success. This is success after going down a very long road with lots of challenges. So if you're a Libra that's been exhausted um, and just not happy in a difficult situation, uh, this is you speaking your truth or this is you severing ties. This is you coming through very successful with this matter. So for those of you that this is a difficult business situation or a difficult family situation, maybe it's a situation with your mother, uh, there, there is going to be truth. There is going to be communication, a lot of communication, things being revealed. You could be telling someone exactly how you feel, Libra. This isn't going to be negative for all of you, Libra. It, it, it just really matters what you have going on in your life. Um, for some of you, this is very, this is, this is positive. Maybe it's the ending to a difficult situation. Things are coming to light. You're getting down to the bottom of something. For some of you, you're telling someone exactly how you feel. This could be a spouse. This could be a third party. This could be your mom. Uh, for some of you, this is getting down to the bottom of something. This is you maybe now freeing yourself from this three of swords energy this could be you literally cutting yourself off from someone so for some of you this isn't negative at all i think that for some of you this is honestly necessary and whatever this is it's big because we have the tower here and this is some sort of big change so for some of you this can be an awakening with the ace of swords here this can literally be some sort of awakening some sort of epiphany that some of you are having you're now seeing things very clearly and with the tower and the eight of wands this could be that communication that truth that is 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 really coming in very suddenly with the tower here so for some of you, for a very, very, very small number of you, unfortunately, this could be like an end, end to a difficult matter. This could be an end to a relationship. Um, for some Librans, I do feel like, you know, honestly, 
you might have been married or you might have been in a relationship and you might have met someone else. So that could be coming out into the open. You might be speaking your truth. So if, you know, this could be for some of you, uh, if you're relating to these energies in that way, this could be you telling the person that you're you're married to or telling the person that you've been with that you no longer want to be that, with them. This could be you literally dropping a bombshell. It could be something like that um, because I have the tower. I have the lover's card here. So for some of you, this is, this is honestly in your hands. This is you making a decision with the lover's card here. This is you making a choice. And whatever whatever the choice is, it's going to be it's going to be a good one. You're making the right choice. We have the six of wands here, so this is you feeling successful. So if you're a Libran who has to make a decision or has to choose, uh, this is you coming through quite successful with that. This is you feeling proud of yourself or very confident with, with your decision with the six of of wands. This is success. So you have the six of wands. You have the ace of swords. This is success. Yes, for many of you, maybe it's success after going down a very bumpy road with lots of challenges, but you are coming out victorious. Now we have the tower and we also have death. And for some of you, I do feel like this is representing the sign of Scorpio. We do have this king of cups here. And I do feel like for some of you, you're dealing with a Scorpio. So this could be, honestly, for some Librans, this could be you making a decision about a Scorpio. A, de a decision could be coming to you from a Scorpio. For some of you, maybe you're getting into a relationship with a Scorpio or you're ending a relationship with a Scorpio with a tower here. Um, I definitely see an ending for some of you. There's there's definitely an ending uh, for many of you who are dealing with an ending. I feel like it's an ending of a relationship. But again, it could be because you were in a relationship and you met someone else. Or for some Librans, this is you meeting someone who was maybe already involved and this is maybe them just, you know, communicating with you suddenly that they've ended it, that they're getting a divorce. Um, there is this great change with death and the tower. This is some very, very uh, significant energy here. There's going to be a lot happening this week for a lot of Librans. Um, and for the majority of you, this is what you want. This is you coming through quite successful with whatever this is. So, yes, I can see that some of you, this you've been dealing with some challenging energies, but um, with the Six of Wands here, this is you maybe finally feeling successful or coming through successful with, with this, um, with maybe making a decision, feeling quite confident and proud of yourself when it comes to this decision that you've made or this decision uh, that, that's come to you now. I'm just seeing if there's anything else that I'm getting here. For those for those Librans that this is not a love triangle, uh, this might not have anything to do with three people. Um, you might have a lot of characters around you this week. Uh, your mother could be very significant or your spouse. There also could be a fire sign person. There could be a water sign individual or even a Gemini with the lover's card here. There could be a lot of people around you th this week. With the Ace of Swords, um, there could there could be some some Librans that maybe you're trying to move to a new home. Uh, this could have been a very stressful, mentally exhausting situation that you're finally uh, coming through victorious with this. So I see an ending for some of you. I see this great change, this transformation. And with the tower, this can represent a property. So for some of you with the Ace of Swords, maybe you're signing a contract. Maybe you're signing a lease. You could be moving to a new home. You could be receiving that decision for some of you that maybe you've been waiting on. This also could be a divorce that's becoming final. But there's some sort of just very significant change that's happening within your life, Libra, this week. Um, and for many of you, this is this is positive. This is something I think that you've been trying to manifest. This has been something that has been ongoing. Um, yeah, needing to remain positive. With the Queen of Wands, for some of you, this is your energy. Uh, with the Empress here and the Queen of Wands, this is definitely your energy, especially those Libran women. Uh, with the Queen of Wands, 
you know, when she wants something, she's going to go after it. She's a multitasker. She's got a lot of energy. She's incredibly passionate and ambitious. And for some of you, this is your energy. You're taking control. You're taking charge. And this is you giving birth. This this is you manifesting some sort of great change within your life. Uh, for some of you, you could be using this sword severing ties and then for others this is you speaking your truth or or this is you coming through very successful with something in your life um we have two cards that just flipped out interesting enough we have daniel i'm the angel of marriage and i am assisting you right now so for those Librans that are having difficulties within their marriage for those Librans that are ending a relationship you have you have this divine energy around you for those single Librans uh, who want to meet someone, you have this beautiful divine energy around you. So needing to remain positive. Uh, assistance is going to come through for you on the relationship front this week, Libra. Okay? And then we also have Crystal. Have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. So this is you, Libra, needing to remain positive. Needing to keep the faith. If you're a Libran who is ending a relationship this week, whether that be romantic or business or even this could be this could be a a friendship, uh, you need to remain positive. You need to keep the faith uh, for those Librans, especially that are ending a relationship. Quite possibly, you have someone new that's coming in. So someone is coming in right around the corner. You just might not be able to see it yet. So you need to remain positive. Okay. So Libra, um, financially, I don't think that's where your focus is at this week, to be honest, but I don't see it being a bad week. Um, and emotionally, to be honest, I don't see it being a bad week either. I feel like whatever difficulties you're going through, um, this is you, for many of you, this is you overcoming those difficulties here. Okay. So Libra, I do hope that you found this reading helpful and I wish you a wonderful week. Take care.